What's up guys, welcome back again to a new Record of Ragnarok chapter video. Today we have chapter 53, the climax of the fight between Buddha and Arjun and the end of Record of Ragnarok's round 6. I believe we've been going through this fight for almost a year, like 8, 9, 10 months, something crazy like that. So round 6 is finally over, a crazy ending. A few more things to talk about regarding our boy... Hades that I realized during this chapter, but yeah, I hope you enjoy, subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord, let's begin. Title of the chapter is Path of Light, which makes sense regarding what Buddha does in the later portion of the chapter. We have Buddha with his new divine weapon clashing with Hajun's single-armed sword that he pulled out last chapter. And again, Buddha has improved enough to be relative to Hajun again. Remember in the later portion of last chapter, once Hajun pulled out this new sword and new named attack, he absolutely rolled Buddha. But now Buddha using this new sword, he's relative to the stronger version of Hajun. And we also see the other sages cheering for Buddha with Jesus having the most reaction we've ever seen from him ever since he got introduced to Record of Ragnarok. I still get comments to this day talking about when Jesus is going to be added. He has, he's been introduced like four or five chapters ago in this Buddha fight. This is him here and if I had to guess he isn't a fighter and we won't see him probably after this fight or after next chapter. He'll probably disappear forever I'm guessing. And we see all of humanity cheering together for our boy Buddha. And regarding Hajun's current mindset, he felt fear at multiple points last chapter with Buddha not giving up. And we see this again here with him not being able to end Buddha. So he's doubting himself. As we know, he considers himself the supreme being, everything like that. And him not being able to, this low diff Buddha is pretty much making him question himself and he's getting more fearful. I also believe this actually nerf is a joint, whether this be a mental nerf or something else. And it does make a lot of sense considering what we see Buddha use later against somewhat of a weakened version of Hajun. So Hajun's mental state does play a major part in his overall power. We don't really know whether he gets like physically weaker, but I guess it does play a part considering what Buddha pulls out soon. But yeah, them two clashing one another and we do see Hajun being slightly in better condition or above Buddha still being able to cut Buddha while dodging Buddha's attack so they are relative but ever so slightly Hajun is still in the lead and then we cut two various other characters who actually point this out for example Okita, Suji and Izami who points out Buddha's current injuries Sasaki who point out that ever so slightly the odds are still stacked against Buddha but regardless, Buddha isn't giving up, but he's still dealing with his pretty major injuries he's received. We have Hajun using his uh, Blaze of Glory name technique, of course, always screaming Divine Retribution, which shows how unhinged Hajun truly is. This time, Buddha blocked the attack, but still, regardless of Buddha blocking it, the power behind that was pretty great, so it does still impact Buddha somewhat with Hajun screaming, Be gone. But without any delay, Buddha's able to land a counter and actually cut Hajun. He talks about how he wasn't deep enough due to not being used to the new weapon but still he's still in this fight and making Hajun be more fearful saying impossible I put everything I had into that strike. So he put everything he had so I'm potentially full power strike and Buddha was able to block it with this new weapon which does show how much stronger this weapon is compared to his staff which could absolutely destroyed with ease last chapter. From there we get a pretty interesting scene. So we have Ares, Hermes and Zeus talking about how Buddha's currently struggling and how he's in danger. Saying it'll be the end if Buddha tries to take Hajun's attack again. Then the mad lad Hades says this. You mindless fools. He doesn't need to take it. All he needs is to dodge it. So... Hades is realizing what's going on more than the likes of Hermes and Zeus and kinda shits on them in this conversation which is pretty interesting and does make you question how strong Hades truly is. And also I had a look at like various reaction shots. Hades more so has been someone who hasn't reacted as much as the others especially during this chapter. So the question we all want to know now, how strong is the king of the underworld Hades? 
But from there, we cut back to the fight with Buddha now using his future vision again, being able to see Hajun Soul and of course easily dodge his attacks, showing how broken future vision truly is. And if Hajun wasn't that full evil incarnate preventing Buddha from using future vision earlier, he probably could have defeated Hajun prior to actually pulling out this new uh, weapon and everything like that. Then we learn why Buddha is able to use this again. Remember that this links into Buddha's ability to see souls or read the soul and due to Hajun being more fearful Buddha can actually see his soul trembling meaning he can see some light rather than the full darkness which was there prior meaning he can use his future vision and pretty much dodge Hajun's attacks which of course results in more fear to go into Hajun which I'm guessing makes it easier for Hajun to read one step ahead and of course dodge more and more of Hajun's attack. So we just have him clowning on the Demon Lord at this point which triggers him even more screaming that he's the most supreme being in the entire world everything like that. Tries to finish Buddha with a, another blaze of glory but this time it's kind of weird. It hits Buddha or to everyone it seems like it hits Buddha like it cuts through him but then we see that it hadn't. It was like a clone or a crazy sand like after image or something like that. We don't really get it explained too well. It probably links into the true or full enlightenment aspect in Buddhism and how with Buddha's fusion kind of with zero he's reached this level of true enlightenment so maybe his future vision is actually stronger. But from there we have Buddha saying some lines and powering up his attack looking amazing with these panels. Pulls his sword up above his head and strikes Hajun down cutting straight through him with the Blade of the Celestial Eyes Awakening, which again may be the awakening of the true enlightenment and everything like that. Of course, as blood goes everywhere, we get insane reactions from all the various gods, apart from the one I mentioned earlier, which is Hades. Like, even the likes of Odin has a more severe reaction compared to Hades, so yeah, pretty interesting. Everyone cheering for Buddha, we see Hajun just get cut apart. Everyone thinks it's all over, but no, Hajun, while being cut apart, goes for one more attack, but again, Buddha's able to easily dodge it, and then Hajun disappears and has been defeated. And as the fight ends, Buddha looks in the sky and actually sees Zero and the other lucky gods, says their goodbyes, because as we know, Zero and the lucky gods are dead as well or gone forever but yeah the official announcement that Buddha is the winner of round six and this fight is actually the second longest in the tournament so far sitting at 21 minutes and 37 seconds so yeah crazy fight if I had to rank the fight it's probably my third or fourth favorite fight so far in record of Ragnarok. I'm gonna say it's my third favorite so far so yeah pretty cool hope you enjoyed today's video let me know your thoughts of the chapter down below subscribe join the discord if you haven't already and as always shout out to the people who support the channel these absolute mad lads but yep that's it guys peace